Welcome back. We are being joined, as we said, by one of India's largest footwear retailers, Pata. Stock up 13% so far this year. Uh, Rajiv Gopalakrishnan, President of South Asia at Pata Emerging Markets, is with us. Good morning, Rajiv. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, tell us about the post-demonetization rebound. Uh, were you affected in the third quarter in terms of volumes? And what has been the quarter-on-quarter -quarter pickup? See, after the demonetization, uh, it was basically for two weeks of uh, bad business for us. Mm. It went down to at least around 50% down. But I think we, we have come up with a lot of actions to really pull back. You know, the credit card transactions and the debit card transactions moved away from, you know, it was almost 70% uh, now. From the 30%, it has gone up to 70%. Oh. And also the cash transactions has been reduced. So I think it's positive in one way. In December month, we came back to the double-digit growths. And the, this quarter, the beginning, you know, Jan and Feb looks pretty good. It's again in the double digits. So demonetization was only a temporary phase. Mm. Uh, we have come across, and I think the whole country should be coming back strongly. Okay. Uh, Mr. Gopal Krishan, good morning. I wanted uh, some more color on the gross margin pickup that you've seen. Q3 was very good for you because you managed to do gross margins of almost 53%. Uh, is that something that we can expect yeah. over the next few quarters as well? Yes, actually. You know, the gross margins is improving because we are focusing on the uh, key elements of the product, you know, style, comfort, and a great price. I think this is something we are working very strongly, and this will help us to build Bata the brand much more strongly in the coming, coming years. Uh, if you look at uh, the gross margin, it's basically because the consumer is able to give a much better price for a better product. Mm. So today the disposable income is better. You have youngsters really coming into the uh, foray of you know buying more shoes than ever before. Mm. So I believe this is going to help us uh, uh, keeping up the gross margins. The so same can way. you uh, can you help us put some numbers to that? Uh, what kind of growth are you looking at from this 53% level? And also, are we looking at higher average selling prices over the next uh, couple of years? Exactly. I think uh, the gross margins will definitely improve. Uh, I can't put a clear number to that, but I would say it should be always 1% up. And uh, in terms of the average selling price, you will see definitely an increment because, as I told you, you know, the, uh, the country is definitely improving in terms of the disposable income and the youngsters. So I think this is going to help us in increasing the average selling price in every category. Mm. So you you were talking about this uh, uh, higher value being um, higher m more money being paid for high value shoes. You, uh, how did Hush Puppies yeah. perform? Will you tie up with new brands uh, like Hush Puppies? And you know, in the store increases, uh, you told us I think 30 more stores, uh, uh, th uh, 30 stores in FY17. Uh, would you uh, make some of these branded f for your uh, sports power line? Mm -hmm. Okay, to start with Hush Puppies, I think Hush Puppies has been doing pretty well with us. We have crossed almost a million pairs mark with Hush Puppies. It's a licensed brand which we manufacture and sell. Uh, similar brands, what we have is Shoal as well as Naturalizer. These are the two other brands what we have. Uh, with Hush Puppies, today we have close to almost 100 standalone stores. Mm. Year on year, we will be opening almost uh, 20 Hush Puppy stores now because the possibilities become pretty good with us. Mm. We are going to even look at cities like, let's say, Trivandrum or Nagpur, you know, the tier two kind of cities also with the opening of Hush Puppies. So Hush Puppies is a good business. I think uh, we will continue growing more than double digits in, in, in Hush Puppies. Mm. Now, coming back to your other question of the Sports. opening of stores, mm -hmm. it's not 30 stores. Mm -hmm. I think uh, this year we should be opening more than 100 stores. Okay. So we are going pretty strong in the, the store opening front because we still believe India has got a lot of opportunities, particularly in the tier two, tier three kind of markets, is still uh, untapped and unexplored. So with the brands like, you know, Power, Nostar, uh, Weinbrenner, then we have the Bata brand is becoming much more contemporary and much more younger with a lot of style and comfort quotient into the product. So this is going to help us to really move into these uh, tier two, tier three kinds of towns and get at least 100 stores to do this year, which is a company-owned stores. Okay. In addition, now we are moving into franchise business as well. 
already we have opened almost 50 franchise stores and this year also we believe we would be able to open another 50 stores of franchise mm. so put together we are talking about almost 150 stores mm. a franchise store is exactly a bata store but run by a franchisee you okay. know so mm. there's not much of a difference